Opening up a brokerage account is an extremely easy way to build wealth and one of the best ways, if not the best ways in my opinion. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to open up a TD Ameritrade brokerage account. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Mal Livodi with FinanciallyPresent.com, your one-stop shop for financial and investment education. And today we are opening up a brokerage account at TD Ameritrade. A little background, uh, my accounts have been at TD Ameritrade for the greater part of the last five years, I'd say. Uh, I have about 11 or so accounts. Uh, and this is from when TD Ameritrade bought the company I, uh, that I previously had my accounts with. And um, um, I enjoy it, honestly. I like having my accounts here for the most part and they're gonna be here for the foreseeable future. Uh, this is not a paid promotion, but ultimately you can find essentially everything you need at a TD Ameritrade brokerage firm or uh, on their online services uh, or in-person services for the most part. Some of the things that I really like about having a TD Ameritrade account is that you have full access to the Thinkorswim trading platform. It's extremely, extremely powerful trading platform. Whether you're a day trader or a swing trader, this will be your cup of tea. Uh, but if you're not, they have things like the Portfolio Planner. And that's more for long-term investing, which I think everyone needs to be doing. Um, but then there's also traditional advising or robo-advising features as well uh, that are readily available to you. Uh, in addition to things like research tools and uh, even banking through your brokerage account. So free checks and uh, other benefits like that. And ultimately there's so many pieces to all of this. It can be overwhelming at first. So I'm doing a separate video with all of the different features and benefits of having an account. But for now, let's just open the account. All right. I already have a TD Ameritrade account, but I'm going to open up a brand new one just to show you the process. Click on open up an account. Immediately they will have some of the most common accounts available to you. Individual accounts, joint accounts, and so on and so forth. Joint accounts, so that's an account with you and someone else. Retirement accounts, education savings accounts, business or trust accounts. I'm gonna open up an individual account, but if I weren't sure what account I would open up, I would click here and there would be a somewhat of a quiz in order to determine what type of account you're interested in. If you want to trade and invest to build wealth, you can answer that. Or if you want to save for retirement, save for education or other. Let's open the individual account. Of course, before you start, you're going to need your social security number, which you should know or have. Uh, and if not that, passport, visa number, and then your employer's name, address, and phone number. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my information in, starting with my first name, middle name, last name, the regular email that I use, street address where I live, city, state, zip code, and phone number. You do have to agree to the privacy statement. Feel free to click the link and read it from there, but we will go ahead and continue. Next, we're going to enter in my date of birth. Um, yes, I am a citizen. Uh, if I'm a citizen of another country, my social security number and then employment status. And then lastly, plans for how I want to use the account. So let me enter that in. All right, for the sake of the account, I'll just select that we're interested in stocks, bonds, options, ETFs and mutual funds, and we will continue to financial information. You'll have to enter in your annual income, your net worth, your liquid net worth, the sources for your initial deposit, and then what's the source for ongoing deposits. Next, you're going to see regulatory questions. They want to make sure that you're not an inside trader or, or an insider at a publicly traded firm uh, to prevent insider trading. And they also want to know whether or not you're licensed um, or uh, may hold uh, shares of a company that are publicly traded and may be subject to that type of inside information. So that's also why it's important to have your employer information and um, answer these questions truthfully. You'll have to designate where you want your cash to go when it's not invested. It can either be under a bank suite program or which is FDIC insured or held within your brokerage account. So that'll be SIPC insured. 
Uh, for the sake of this, I'll have it under the FDIC uh, Bank Suite program. And then continue. After this, you'll have an opportunity to review the information that's on file, and then you have the opportunity to read the agreements. If you prefer that they are digitally sent to you or available to you, you would just keep this box checked. If you prefer that they are mailed, you would uncheck this box. I prefer to have it uh, essentially delivered electronically, and especially because I'm already a TD Ameritrade client. Affirm the statement regarding your W-9. You check that box. The client agreement, you would also check that box. You can also click and open the agreement here. And then continue. Uh, your account's almost open. You just have to create a user ID. So an ID, a password, it is case sensitive, and then re-enter the password, just as you would with most uh, login applications. Now that the account's open, you have a few methods that you can use to deposit funds into your account. Uh, TD Ameritrade has local branches, so you could go into a branch with a check, uh, but you can also use your bank account or savings account, your checking or savings account, essentially, uh, where you would link that information and automatically transfer funds or draw them using the TD Ameritrade account. You can use a check. There's also remote deposit capture where you would use uh, your cell phone in order to take a picture of your check, just as you would with a, a regular banking account, and deposit it directly into your brokerage account. You'll be able to use those funds to invest uh, shortly after. You can transfer assets from another brokerage account, or you can initiate a wire from your bank. Usually wires um, incur a fee, so uh, you would do that maybe for large amounts. You don't specifically have to pick a method right this moment, so you can just hit save and finish later, or just continue. I selected save and continue or save and exit. And so now I'm actually within my brand new account and I'm free to explore right now. There's no funds in it, but we can plan on having some fun later. I'll do a separate video where I include all of the different research tools and um, the pluses and the minuses of owning a TD Ameritrade account. All right. So my account is now open. Uh, it was much faster than usual, but that's because it skipped the identity verification or maybe it didn't skip it. I'm already in the system, so it didn't make me go through answering specific questions where they, it's essentially a soft hit on um, our identity check through the credit bureaus to make sure that I am who I say I am. It usually would ask me about three specific questions that seem very, very um, tied to what I may have borrowed or where I've lived and things of that nature. But it's all part of verifying that it is that I am who I say I am. I'm gonna do other videos about the features and that way you can see whether or not it's gonna be a great fit for you. If this video was helpful for you, I want you to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the page and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, stay present.